I use an image of a wrestler because this is what I feel the conscious community has really turned into. It's turned into a form of WWE. All right, but instead of real wrestling entertainment, it's, it's conscious community entertainment. And what you have is a bunch, when you think of a wrestler, what does the wrestler try to show? The strength he has, the muscle he has. And the muscles could be translated into followers. I have this many followers. That's the muscles, all right? And the ego, that's what makes wrestlers popular, their egos, right? So that's what the conscious community has become. And just like wrestling, you have people, grown ass adults, Grown ass men, <laughs> grown ass women, screaming, going crazy for certain type of wrestlers. This is what the conscious community has become, unfortunately. Unfortunately. And what, what, what we're seeing right now is the parting of the seas. You know, as you get into different, as you go deeper into kind of um, what are we, what do we need to do, are we a group? Are we a lineage? Are we this? What are, you know, as we start breaking this stuff down, the more we break this stuff down, the more we start to realize that, hey, look, there's gonna be, there's gonna be people going their own ways. There's gonna be people following whoever they gonna follow, All right? So Jason Black, he decides that he wants to come out and attack Tone Talks. I'm pretty sure y'all heard it, right? And, and the main thing he got mad at Tone Talks was because he asked uh, Tariq a question and, uh, and, and and Jason Black felt like that was disrespectful. He wanted to talk to Tone Talks behind the scenes. Tone Talk basically was like, nah, bro, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to talk to you unless you show me who you are. I don't want to just be talking to somebody anonymous. And he got offended by that and he's like, well, fine. Uh, since it's like that, you know, I have nothing else to say to you. So Tone Talks goes on his rant about this guy named Jason Johnson. And on this rant where he's going at this guy named Jason Johnson, he accidentally says Jason Black. So that's kind of how that conversation rekindles because Jason Black's like, hey man, I wanna to talk to you behind the scenes. And this is what a lot of, a lot of people are saying like, oh man, you know, you should have reached to Tariq behind the scenes or you should have reached out to, to this person behind the scenes because that shows respect before coming out and, and going after them. Um, no. You know, whether he did this stuff behind the scenes or whether he did this stuff in front of everybody, the, the result would have been the same. That's kind of where I agree with, with Michi Ek. Where Michi Ek said, like, look, no matter what I do, this guy's gonna go in on me that, that's pretty much true. So Jason Black took offense that the guy, a black man had asked him, look, can I see a picture to basically I know who I'm talking to? But he had zero problem standing in front of a white supremacist like Richard Spencer. Like, uh, what's the other gentleman who, uh, the, the, the suspected white supremacist? Uh, Jared. I forget his last name. Jared, whatever. He was all up in the movie Race War, but Jared, this guy's a, a, he's a out, he's out there. He's like, a, he's not a suspected white supremacist. He's a admitted white supremacist. And he went to their ranch and he spoke to them. He revealed who his identity was to them, but to this black man who was asking, hey, look, let me show a picture. Let me see a picture of who I'm talking to. And the thing I didn't like was you went, in, you went in on some personal attack stuff. See, when, once you go on, once you already come in on some personal attack stuff, that you, instead of instead of attacking the person's arguments or beliefs, which is pretty much, you know, this what I'm seeing from a lot of people who are who I've been uh, cool with. Now we kind of been going our own separate ways. Is that they keep they keep talking about this democratic down ballot they, they're in front for the democratic down ballot because they're that's what they're telling us they're telling us to vote democrat 
Democratic down ballot. And let me let me put this screenshot up of basically what voting down ballot means. There are certain measures when you go out and vote, okay, that has nothing to do with this is where I fucked up. I never really got out, I never really did the research. I just kind of was like, yeah, no reparations, no vote. No reparations, no vote. I was doing that shit too. Until I watched Yvette Carnell's video. And I was like, you know what? She's right, I'm wrong. There are certain measures, there are certain propositions that are on on these, uh, when you go out here and vote, that have, that have absolutely nothing to do with reparations. And, and these, these are measures that have nothing to do with Republican or Democrat. And this is this is a problem that a lot of Negroes in the conscious community, this this is where we fuck up. We don't really go and do the research and see. Look, it it ain't it don't take nothing but five seconds to do a um a, 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 a Google research on what is a democratic down ballot or what is a down ballot? Right? What does this stuff mean? Doesn't take long for for stuff to start popping up, and you'll and you'll see. And 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 basically, voting down ballot is saying that hey, I'm not voting really for any kind of candidate. What I'm doing is, I'm going to vote for certain measures. Maybe if there's somebody in office that I know locally, I might vote them in. I see that this person's running for this or running for that. Everything's just not. Uh, uh, a thing where you have to vote Democrat or vote Republican. Some things are on there that will affect you. I, I think I said this in a previous video. If, if you have issues with rent control and you're a person that's renting, there might there may be a measure on there that, that talks about rent control. It has nothing to do with reparations. It has nothing to do with Republican or Democrat, these are just certain measures that are on there that's going to affect you one way or the other. So if you're a Rennie and you're talking about no reparations, no vote, no reparations, no vote, oh damn, why these white supremacists, I got a white supremacist um, landlord, he keep raising the fucking rent on me, but no reparations, no vote. Like how ridiculous do you fucking look if you're not, get, if you're not trying to go out here and research the shit that you're talking about. It's just like you're babbling. Talk about Republican and Democrat. Some things, it's not Republican and Democrat. There's certain ballot measures when you go out and vote. You got to you got to educate yourself, man. I'm not saying that I'm the most educated person in the world, but if I'm wrong on something, I'm going to try to research something and see well maybe this person has a let me research both sides of the argument and what you have is people are not researching both sides of the argument they're going off of the rest the wrestler personality who has the bigger personality who has the big wrestling personality and people act like this man can't be criticized like it's not a game that they're running and let's be real, Jason Black has an issue with Tone Talks and Yvette Carnell for some stuff that happened way back. Like the the uh, when Yvette Carnell disrespected Dr. Francis Cress Wilson and I, I believe she disrespected the uh, Nation of Islam uh, with uh, Farrakhan. She's done some she's done some suspects and weirdo shit in the past so that's where this this beef really kind of stems from it's never really kind of adopting what they're saying because hey you know what i mean i feel like they, they they're not really respectful towards the ancestors and i can't really really get down behind it so he tried to say that he never said ados he he said doas and he specifically he specifically used that term because he wanted to support the people, but he didn't really want to support them. And it just goes to show you there's so much jealousy. There's so much animosity. 
there's so much dick riding when 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 a movement takes off, right? And people have different, you know, think about it. When these guys first start started talking, everything was pan-Africanism. Everything was this and that. And unfortunately, man, I, I expected better of um Professor Black Truth because Professor Black Truth was was always saying that the code is a leader and remember, you know, but he's on team Tariq Nasheed. Right? And the stuff that I the stuff that I said, no nobody will really take the time to research and see, okay, what's this person talking about? Because look, in politics, it takes money to make change happen, right? It's just not all about demands. Let's just let's just get, just stop thinking Democratic. Let's stop thinking Republican. When in politics, you need money, right? You need money to kind of to have some kind of super PAC going. Once you have a super PAC going. Then you can make some kind of uh, demands or some kind of agenda. And then on this agenda, you'll have a politician that's in your back pocket trying to get some bills passed for it. But it's not just a thing where you're, you're it's no, no reparations, no vote. No reparations, no vote. Okay, motherfucker, then don't vote. So what? We got Asians, we got Mexicans, we got all these other people. If we desperate, if we desperately need your vote, then we'll come to you. But until then, then fine, motherfuckers, don't vote. I don't give a fuck about reparations. I'm not, I'm not giving y'all reparations. Y'all can bitch and whine all y'all want. Fuck you, right? And we think that the vote, the vote is so important. The vote is, is so important. When they'll just say, oh, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just go to another community. Right? The thing is, you need money to create a super PAC. Then once you get a super PAC, you get a politician that's going to push a bill. And hopefully you get a bill pushed through the Senate to make some kind of tangible change happen. Right? It's either the ballot, the bullet, or... Otherwise, you just gotta do, you gotta break apart and do and, 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 and do sovereignty, which I don't believe. That's what a lot of Pan Africanists believe. They believe in sovereignty, just just getting rid of the system altogether and building from the ground up. You kind of building this Wakanda type of uh, country behind the RBG flag. So, to me, you either going to get involved in politics. It's not. It's, 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 it, things are so advanced now where you're not, nobody's really going to be violent. Nobody's going to go do, take it by the bullet. So we just got to be honest and call things how we see it. You know, we got a lot of these motherfuckers doing all of this militant talk. But come on, man. You know, when the FBI start knocking at your door, the CIA start knocking at your door. You're saying you're doing all the semantics and you dancing around the issue. You saying, oh, I didn't say that. I kind of said this. So, I mean, we just got to keep it real. What y'all think, man? Like, comment, subscribe. I'm about to head to the plantation. It's your boy, Diablo the Truth. I'm out.